It's finally happening. NCAA is coming back with EA. They've announced it on Twitter today. Oh my gosh, it's been seven years and we're finally getting the game that we want back and the opportunity to see all those features that we've wanted put into an NCAA game uh, for years. So we're going to talk about uh, what we want in this next game. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys what's on my wish list. Please feel free in the comments below. Tell me what you think should be added into the game or maybe what they should avoid. I know that there's going to be a lot of controversial opinions and a lot of people who don't want this to turn into a certain game. But let's go ahead and jump into to what I think needs to be added to make a great NCAA game. But before we jump into that, I guess we should talk about when do we think this game is going to come out? I've seen a lot of people thinking two to three years uh, since they need to build the game. But I think it's unrealistic to think that they won't use a lot of the stuff that they have from Madden. I mean, they kind of use the same engine when they were doing, you know, NCAA 14, Madden 25. And I don't think that EA would necessarily release the uh, the announcement that it's coming back that far in advance. I think there's a small chance that we could see NCA 22 coming this fall. But anyways, let's get into uh, my wish list. We'll start with Dynasty, obviously the big one. They need to do it right. I think the Dynasty has to be the main focus. So we'll start off with the obvious one, the college football playoff. We need that to be in there. It needs to be in depth. Um, we need it to be as realistic as possible, but we also want the option for expansion. I think in your dynasty setup and, and throughout the seasons, you should be able to, uh, expand your playoff. Obviously, if they just make it a four team, the, the option sh should be there to increase it. Allow us to do a six or an eight or a 10 or a 32 or 64 team playoff. Now, how that would look alongside the regular season, I'm not sure. Does the regular season get shortened? Who cares? That's what, that would be amazing. And the second most obvious thing that they need to bring back is team builder. If you don't bring team builder back, do we riot? <laughs> it's, it's such a, such a amazing part of the, uh, the original NCAA games that it has to be brought back, but I want to see it expanded more. You know, I want to see not just the, the initial creation, which was pretty in depth, I thought for NCAA 14, but I want to see more than that. I want to see in game stuff where you can edit um things where like in nta 14 you were kind of stuck with what you had made after you had already made it so i want to be able to edit things as we go along but also i want upgrades i want uh a stadium builder i want something where you can upgrade your facilities as as your dynasty progresses and that's just for all dynasty not just team builder but i also want a stadium builder allow us to start with a small field and as the team grows expand the stadium that's not something that you could do with the original team builder uh outside of editing your dynasty files so allow us to go in and start with a small field with a small program and as it grows build up to a big hundred thousand capacity stadium and, and keeping in the dynasty thought here a lot has changed in college football since uh nt14 um they absolutely need to make a transfer portal and there needs to be grad transfers. Uh, if those two things aren't in the game, it's not college football. It is such a integral part of college football these days that you can't have the game without having the transfers. Um, and then add other stuff. Add medical red shirts. Add gray shirts. Uh, you know, make it so that you know somehow maybe the right circumstances happen around a player. And instead of staying for four years, they stay for six. And alongside those players, I want to see player discipline. Uh, it was in previous games. Uh, make it so that I have to worry about my player screwing up. As it stands in NCAA 14 right now, I don't have to worry about my player going and stealing a beer from a store or cheating on their tests and getting kicked out of the school. That needs to come back. Uh, I need to be able to look and, and evaluate how disciplined a kid is before I offer them a scholarship because, you know, maybe there's a great player, but if he keeps getting in trouble, then he's never going to play and maybe I don't want to offer him a scholarship. While we're talking about discipline, sanctions, uh, scholarship loss, bowl bans, something like that, because that happens all the time. Uh, you know, if maybe maybe I have an option to uh, spend a little bit of extra time recruiting a player, but it breaks a violation. And if I get found out or if I don't self-report it, 
maybe I lose some scholarships or, or lose the opportunity to compete in the postseason for a season or two. Allow stuff like that to happen, maybe to the extent of getting death penalty. Um, but it, there needs to be some sort of uh, NCAA sanctions. And with that recruiting, we, it needs to be more in-depth. As it stands, NCAA 14 doesn't have terrible recruiting, but it could be a lot more in-depth. Um, the scouting, you can do it instantly. The recruiting, when you decide you want to point or a player, you just put points into them. You just move your right thumbstick, and it, you know, you're giving them 700 points a week, and then you don't do anything besides setting up their visit. And, and then, oh, they either commit or they don't. Make it more in-depth than that. Allow us... I mean, NCAA 13 had phone calls where you had to choose how much time a week you were going to spend on a player and what you were going to talk about. Allow us to go back to that. Allow us to, you know, either find a player and really focus on them or, or like, you know, send out letters to everybody that we want or, or, you know, make us think about this more. And then alongside that, let's look at coaching. You know, right now, as it stands in NCAA 14, you have your head coach. And your offensive coordinator and your defensive coordinator. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but college football teams have a massive coaching staff. You know, strength and conditioning, all the, you know, positional coaches, assistant coaches, stuff like that. Recruiting coordinators. Let us just build up a program and choose our team. Um, whether or not those players that you're, those, those uh, staff that you bring in have, like, their own individual skill trees, which I think that they should. I think every, like, I should be able to have a quarterback's coach that works with quarterbacks, and, and the better they do, the higher, the more skill points they get or something. Look at the NFL head coaching. Um, that has pretty in-depth, I mean, it is a coaching game, but it has very in-depth uh, coaching skill trees, and you need to make sure that you're upgrading your coaches. So allow us to do that with our staff in, in our college football program. Allow us, obviously, the conference realignment would be is necessary, but allow us to change things, be more in depth as it stands in NCAA 14. If you have only 10 players or maybe up to 11 in a conference, you can't have a conference championship. So obviously, that's going to need to change, especially with the Big 12. Um, but maybe allow us to create custom conferences, not just like moving uh, teams around, but creating a brand new conference from scratch. Maybe uh, maybe put in a logo editor, allow us to upload logos to make our conferences there is so much potential uh and that's just on the dynasty side obviously i also still want there to be road to glory now i wouldn't be surprised ea has kind of been adding story modes to their sports games uh fifa has one we know that like uh, madden has one where you can play a guy and you start in college in the playoff or whatever and then you go to the pros. Allow us to do that. Um, if you want to do a story mode, that's fine. You can do the similar situation as you have in Madden and just have us start in high school and we are in our high school playoffs and then we start our college career. But also, just revamping uh, Road to Glory would be nice. You know, you can do pretty much the same thing. But then I remember one of the one of my favorite Maddens, I think was Madden 07, and where you had your career and you had all these decisions that you had to make and you, you know, Things around you changed as you got higher up in the league. Allow us to do that, you know? Maybe I need to decide um, whether I'm going to study longer, or if I'm going to cheat. Um, you know, do I skip practice to do something? Give us all sorts of these options and, and allow us to really just have a fully fleshed out and uh, immersive um road to glory career and i think you know we're uh, i'm gonna be my mind will be racing in the months and hopefully just months and not years to come before this game comes out but the last thing and one of the most important we already have custom playbooks in nca give us a play designer allow us to create our own plays uh again it's in nfl head coach uh but bring it back the college football has so many crazy schemes and plays Allow us to make our own and truly allow our coaching to feel like uh, we can put our mark onto our program. Um, that would just be incredible. But anyways, I am so, so excited for this now. I'm really hoping that I'm right and that maybe there's a chance it comes out this fall. If not this fall, then next fall, or I guess like the end of summer, they would probably put it out in, in August or something. But you know, it, if, if we have to wait two or three years, my heart might not be able to take it. But anyways, that is my current wish list 
for uh, this new NCAA game. Who knows what they'll call it? Will it be NCAA? Will it be EA College Football? But regardless, that's my wish list. I I really do want to know what you guys have to, to say. I'm sure that I'm going to read these comments and be like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Um, but yeah, I want to know what you guys have to say. Uh, so leave that in the comments down below. And then, of course, as always, uh, thank you guys that have subscribed. Uh, our numbers between subscribed and not subscribed are getting much better. So thank you for that. And if you're not subscribed and you enjoy the content, please head on down there. Hit the subscribe button. And then while you guys are down there, you can check out the description where we've got links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, where we play a lot of non-NCA related gaming content recently. It's been a lot of sim racing. So I don't know, maybe if that's something that you're into, you can go to that. But there's also links to uh, my Twitter uh, and our community Discord, as well as, I know it's not featured in this video, but there's also a link to the uh, college football revamped mod if you need to get your fix of some updated college football before this new EA one comes out. So that link is down there as well. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a ton. I am so excited. It's finally here. It's happening. Let's just hope that it is good. And wherever you guys are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.